You've spent years carefully crafting playlists, rating your songs in iTunes, then you get a new computer. How can you move all that stuff and your music to a new computer? I'm Tom Merritt with a quick tip for migrating iTunes music and the metadata that goes with it to a new machine. For this example, I'm going to go from a Windows machine to a Mac, but the process should also work in reverse pretty much the same way. Now, if you want to make this easy, you'll want to move all your music into the iTunes folder on your old PC, and there's an easy way to do this. In iTunes, go to the Advanced menu, choose Consolidate Library, and sit back and chill while your music is copied, depending on how much you have. It may take a while. And I do mean copied. Any music not already in the iTunes folder will not be deleted. You'll just have two copies of it, one in the iTunes folder, one not. Now, quit iTunes, go to My Documents, My Music, and you should see the iTunes folder right there. Now you need a place to put that folder. Could be an external drive like this, could be a network drive, or if you have a big enough iPod, you can use that. It just needs to be big enough to hold all the data. Right click on the folder and choose Properties to find out how big it is. Now, drag the iTunes folder and copy it to wherever you're temporarily storing it. Go have lunch, that's going to take a while too. Then, connect the storage device to the new computer, in this case a Mac. Install and launch iTunes. Now, if iTunes asks to find your music, say no. Quit iTunes once it's all set up, then go to your music folder. Move the existing iTunes folder to the trash. Copy the old iTunes folder off your storage device and put it where the old folder was. Open iTunes again. You should see your familiar library with ratings and play counts and all that stuff you work so hard on. That's it for this quick tip. I'm Tom Merritt from CNET.com. Happy moving.